I do like that intro music. This is Dizzy X Journey to Russia. It is a Russian fan game originally released for one of the Eastern European uh, Spectrum clones. The Pentagon or the Scorpion or something. And here he is, Dizzy. So named because he jumps around like this and has no air control whatsoever. This will prove vital some time later. Okay, Cardinal Sins of Dizzy Games number one. Hiding items underneath completely innocuous lumps of background. Leave that there now. No, oh, just to show off, that is an entirely identical clump of grass with nothing behind it at all. It's hard to realise that Dizzy was kind of a thing back in the day, at least in sort of Europe. I don't think he ever took off in the States or anything. There were tons of games with him in. Ah, here's an interesting thing to do with the lack of air control. If I step to the right here, I will fall into the next screen and drown. So, leap of faith. Thanks. And this is Dylan. He's one of the uh, Dizzy's friends and family who were introduced in the later games. This is, uh, these guys were called, brace yourself, the Yoke Folk. Dylan is the hippie sort of guy, so naturally he gives us some dynamite. Cardinal Sins in Dizzy game number two. And just uh, A, picking up five million identical bloody coins, and B, invisible platforming with no air control at all. Dizzy will quite happily roll entirely off platforms if you're not in exactly the right position. There we go, and no. Try again. Step a little to the right, and no. Oh well, third time's the charm. A bit further right, and there we go. So that's what we're after. A completely innocuous object stuck at the top of a tree. I thought there was a platform over there. There isn't. Hang on. There we go. Having finally navigated our way up to the tree, we get we are rewarded with a length of rope. That was a bit of a dubious leap of faith there. Yeah, for all the stick I'm going to give this game, it's... Um, sins it uh, does are were amplified five million times over in the actual Dizzy games proper. At least, A, unlike the early Dizzy games, you're not hiding 30 coins behind random chunks of background which you needed to get in order to complete the game properly. B, it's uh, unlike some of the early games you have a proper sort of energy and life system unlike say Treasure Island Dizzy which you had to complete perfectly. One hit was game over. I'll never get used to the Spectrum Score Clash, I had a 64 as a kid. Fortunately, the, uh, the like I say, later games, the official games, would require 30 coins. Here we need a grand total of 5, fortunately. Which one of the two objects do I need to uh, break open this rock? It is the dynamite. Thank you very much. This suspiciously purple floor. What is that? Ooh. Yeah, the uh, screen transitions are always slightly fiddly. Nope, not there. There, thank you very much. There were tons of bootleg Dizzy games. Um, there's actually an like, official engine that someone did for Windows these days that's produced a ton of fan games. And uh, here we are, this guy. I think this graphic is entirely original. I don't recall ever seeing him in any of the uh, official games. Okay, so the solution to this problem is bribery. Ooh, no, nothing up here whatsoever. Here we Four for five coins? And here, here's a great part. It's a complete leap of faith, or rather a walk of faith, that would have killed you if 
you didn't know it was coming. Final coin! Hooray! And this gobshite. It's uh, difficult to realise how you're meant to get out of this little cavern, unless you know you can stand on there and sort of osmose your way through the ceiling. I won't make the obvious entering through the back entrance joke. Except I just did. Oh well. This was originally in Russian. The uh, it was obviously sort of fan translated, and uh, it's actually a fairly good job. There's a few slightly weird phrasings and object names, but by and large you can figure out exactly what's going on. Ah, this table is solid, and candles hurt you. This table is not solid, and it took me a time to realise, which is why I just l leap onto it for no reason at all. Again, I think this guy is completely original. And he now unleashes a big chunk of exposition that we have to listen to. Well, read. This is some kind of terrifying satire of post-communist Russia, or at least it will be once we actually get to Russia, or something. There's a lot of uh, self-deprecating references to uh, Russia being weird. That was a stupid jump. Yes, we had to listen to the astrologer, because otherwise that door doesn't open. Still not trusting these random tufts of grass. Largely because these two rooms are, frankly, um, entirely unnecessary. There's nothing in them at all. Ah, another one of the yoke folk. This is grand, is he? Please do not ponder how eggs reproduce. Well, you know, well never mind. At least this... Uh, this is the end of the world. At least this one you get a hint as to where you are actually meant to use the spade here, because it's a garden. Unlike the sledgehammer puzzle. And ta-da, this is Theo, the friendly wizard. He is from the official Dizzy Games. That lot of bloody good you are, then. And now it's time for... All the way back to the mouse. Um, yes, so this is, this is not the worst instance of backtracking. Once you actually get to Russia, there's the, it becomes ludicrous. Pause as I try and remember how to uh, deal with this jump. And now we go all the way back. Once I remember how to get out of this room. So we have finally, finally got what we need to journey to Russia, which is the entire point of the game. And all we need to do is give him the stick. Except it's very awkward as to where you're exactly meant to give him the stick. Try and literally drop it into his hands. Into the other hand. Really into the other hand. No. Thank you, finally. It was even bloody harder to give it to you. Which we are rewarded with... 
a a shiny dollar for some reason. Except not dollar, it's dollar notes, not dollar coins, aren't they? And poof! We're finally in Russia. We're in Russia, Dizzy. The clue is in the name. <laughs>